Welcome to a new update on this beautiful Sunday. I'm already in Cape Town, but I've been making this update as I'm going to discuss a few altcoins you should be looking at when it comes to 2023. Um, but before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, make sure to check out my free trade letter, which is three times per week provided to you for nothing. Um, it's free. And I'm also having a premium platform where you can find my trades, my portfolio, in which we're going to be copy trading relatively soon as well. So make sure to tune in there and also check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Lots of different content coming up while I'm currently in Cape Town. So while we're looking at the price action of a ton of altcoins, we can definitely conclude that most of them are into a territory which we have not been seeing before. So why are we looking at a few and the first one i want to discuss is polkadot um, it's one of my favorites still and i think that polkadot is a project and a platform that will definitely start to do really well but let the current case is as follows polkadot is back into the territory of 2020 in which 2020 is the area where we started the actual bull run and we went from 490 towards 52 bucks um, at the end of the year um, or at least in October 2021, resulting into a giant run. And I think other altcoins have been providing more, okay, okay, but at least it has been providing a big run. What has happened since is that since here we have been falling down, and actually since March there is a big crash, and since then a slow bleed. Why is that a case? Well, FTX and DCG in Gemini has been taking place, and especially the case around DCG in Gemini, is probably pushing the prices down even more as it's into those uh, trusts. In that way, fundamentally, Polkadot is probably just growing and building. But when it comes to the price action, they are getting pushed down as people are getting forced out of it. And it's getting a bad name because of DCG and Gemini. So it's overextended to the downside. And because it's overextended to the downside, it grants you opportunities as a whole. Because if you know the actual case of yesterday, the outlook is most likely that we're going to get a 2019 case. While we're looking at 2019, we can see this run of Bitcoin. I'm not saying we will see the exact same strong run of Bitcoin, but at least we're seeing this run of Bitcoin, which is ultimately resulting into altcoins having their momentum as well. And in that case, we could be seeing a breakout or a trend switch for a little while in which we start to conclude that there is continuation of strength of Polkadot towards anywhere in this region at least. Because if we start to take out one of these highs, we start to cascade and start to run even further as most of the people are still short on altcoins at this point. And in that way, we can conclude that there is continuation and that we can have that echo bubble or relief rally on altcoins resulting into a rush um, and it potentially a run of like 5x for things like Polkadot. The second one is still Chainlink. Um, we are seeing a similar correction on Chainlink at this point, in which we are back to the area which we are from 2020, um, in which the 2020 levels before we started the actual bull cycle is currently where we are hovering. So anything between four to seven bucks is still the area that you clearly want to get into a position for Chainlink because the argument is the same for Polkadot as for Chainlink. Chainlink also has its trust. And when you want to get into a position for this one, it has been seeing a lot of pain because of what has been happening with DCG and Gemini, for instance. And the bull run has been taking place in April 2021, after which we are into a bear market, which is almost two years already. In that way, most of the people are short. Uh, most sellers are out of the markets at this point. And therefore, if we start to break these highs, a run towards here is something that you can be expecting and the downside is relatively limited given the fact that we are getting into massive support zones and the most of the sellers are out worst is priced in when it comes to dcg and gemini and the other parties in which most likely the upside is going to be heavy for these the third one i'd like to discuss is our friend binance coin I think that the FUD around Binance makes absolutely no sense. The chart is showing a, a beautiful one in which it shows the Bush Khalifa, but it didn't end like the Bush Khalifa as it is currently still um, hovering around support. If we're going to test the support again, you can conclude that we're going to drop a need and then you can have a sharp fall. 
but as long as Binance coin stays here, we are fine. So support is fine. And if we do start taking out the crucial resistance, you can conclude that once we break 285, we can continue running towards 600 bucks. And I think that this asset and I think the exchange tokens that are actually going to survive and get the licenses in all the countries that they require to do so, those are the ones that are going to be rallying quite fast. And I think those will be the ones that are going to provide uh, first um, all time highs as well. So in that regard, I think that uh, especially Binance coin will start to see some significant continuation here once it starts to break out of it. So it's something you should take into your portfolio overall. The fourth one is one that's getting a lot of traction lately, which is Phantom. Um, Andre Cronier is back, so it's going to get some more momentum here. And the thesis that I said about Polkadot and uh, Chainlink is the one for Phantom as well. Downwards trend in which we are also making lower lows, right? And now we have been making a new higher low. I'll just make it here. We have been making a new higher low in which the higher low is granting us a test at the res crucial resistance. If the crucial resistance breaks, it is most likely going to tackle all the other highs as well. So the first rally will bring us towards 40 cents, but ultimately we take out these highs still as it starts to accelerate and then you're going to look at a rally towards 80 cents and potentially even $1 to $1.20 because this one comes out of the region of three bucks and it went from two cents to three bucks in the previous bull. Now it's back to where it started from the beginning and therefore it is one that you should be taking into account as well um, in which you should be looking at 70 cents to 80 cents and 110 to 130. That is an important one to look at. Um, so this is definitely one that probably accelerates even more um, in terms of the action that you could be seeing in the final one. That's just a small project, um, also heavily into correction mode. Interesting one for staking purposes as well. Um, also one that has been seeing this slow bleed uh, taking place just like Polkadot has been seeing this slow bleed. You're generally looking at a case where you're going to see this reversal taking place and you have to zoom in a little bit more to get into the view. If it starts to take out the high, which could be taking place in the next few weeks, if it starts to take out this high here, we are most likely going to take these out too, in which we can start rallying towards 9 cents and potentially even 14 cents. So in general, altcoins could provide a 5 to 10 x from here if we're going to get a relief ready. I hope you have enjoyed this small update. I'll be back tomorrow with a fresh new one. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you again tomorrow.